Hey guys and welcome to Talk Gaming Let's Play. I was given a code for a game called Pull Nation PS4, made by Cherry Pop Games. Now, I want to give you an honest ap appreciation of the game. Um, I'll be honest all the way through my reviews. Uh, but firstly, let's have a look at their promo material. When I saw that promo material, I was honestly blown away. I think it looks beautiful, it sounds beautiful. So let's get into some actual action. Um, but let's do some a little bit of thing. First, there's 11 game modes. You can play it online or offline. You can play it with your friends. There's so many options to play. Uh, your options derive from pool to snooker to killer. Uh, and there's also challenge modes as well. So let's so firstly we'll start off and we'll take a look at the season mode and then we'll move on to some of the other modes in there. So first thing you notice is you can't use your D-pad just here, but we want to we want to start off by playing some of this some of the game to have a look at it. So we're going to have a look at the career mode. I've had a, I've had a game already. Uh, let's just continue on on this career mode. I've currently got it on easy. Um, I really should have the game up in front of me instead of my Streamlabs. Now, um, X to start, it, the load time is pretty good. It does look really, really good. Um, the trailer did it justice and it does look good. Um, so let's have a look, let's see how we do. Uh, this is easy, I shouldn't really have any issues with this. Um, The slow mos are really good. It's really clean and it does look really pretty. Um, definitely, definitely like the slow mos in this game. Now, don't get me wrong. After a while, the slow mos might get a little bit uh, monotonous because you've seen them so often. But you can turn them off in the settings. Now. I've had a little bit of practice on this. I've played the game for about an hour now, so I've had a little bit of practice. Um, I was really helped by doing a different mode. Uh, the mode that I did uh, was a time trial mode. Uh, there will be a clip of that uh, when I did it the first time around. Now, d there's, a, there's a few things. Of, great part, fluke. There's a few things I would say. Uh, on easy, it is very easy. Um, I've tried the killer mode as well, and the killer mode, which we'll go to shortly, um, is definitely a mode that you'd only really do with your friends and you wouldn't really want to do against an AI. Um, but could this rival the likes of FIFA if Paul was as big? Yeah, they've done a really good, clean job of it. It, it, it feels and plays really well. Um, it's quite simple and self-explanatory, and he's going to miss that by a country mile. Now, if you press square, you can have a look at the camera, so you get like an overhead view. Uh, and all your other controls are just there, as you can see just there. So you've got your aim, your take shot, your, uh, your final adjust, your Q, your spin, uh, your Q angle, your spin. The, you can reset the spin by just pressing the L3 in. You can reset the angle just by pressing R3. Uh, triangle will toggle the zoom. Um, free cam square and X is to skip the shot. 
Now, because he fouled, I get to move the white ball wherever I particularly want. So let's say just here. Um, how do I replace a ball circle? Okay, that's good. Um, I, I, uh, it was a difficult shot to get back up the table, so it, it was it was worth it. Um, it was worth risking it. Now, if that goes in, I am very lucky. Okay, that went in. Uh, I did not expect that to go in. I didn't really play for it to go in, uh, but there we go. Uh, I knew that would be close, but no cigar. I've probably hurt myself in that shot more than anything else because I've just pretty much guaranteed to have snookered myself. But I should be out. It's, it should be an easier snooker to get out of. There we go. Got myself out of the snooker. And it was a shot that I really just thought I'd give a go. Now, as you go on, you get prize money per win that you do. And I'm guessing you get extra prize money if you manage to... There we go. That's a great shot. Um... You begin to get used to the game so much that you can just literally take shot after shot after shot. Um, hundred dollar rewards and I've ranked up, so that's amazing. And that is the first of the um, that's the first of like the things that you can do. Now let's go have a look. The daily bonus as uh, you can only do once. I, ha I had a go at it when I uh, when I was first recording. Um, so today it was part three balls with four shots. I missed out by one. Um, the clip will be coming up just now. So, because we're from the UK, I'm going to get 8 ball UK. You can go onto the rules and you can have it so winner always break. You can change them. You, uh, that rule doesn't really account. Uh, but you can change these rules without ticks to them if they are relevant to the game itself. You can't change it if they've got like these. Uh, there's no free ball. You can't jump shots. You can only move it into the kitchen only. Um, there you go. So that, that's what we're going to have on just there. We're not going to have any celebrations. We're going to go against a AI. We'll make it a level thirty AI. Um, uh, so this so this is just like one of the like. So these are a little bit harder. Uh, level thirty. It goes up to level forty two in like the cha uh, challenge levels. So it gives you a basic uh, impression of how high the challenge levels go. 
will be reds. Um, these yellows were all a little bit too much down here and I didn't feel that that would be the best option. Uh, let's have a look, that should drop. Um, so that should drop in, absolutely perfect. Hugo Rambling Jr is going to get his bum kicked if he doesn't get another shot in. Where's my white ball going? Keep an eye on where the white ball's going. It could be in danger of it freeing that red or potting the yellows. So let's have a look, see what it does. Um, it kind of freed the red. Um, it kind of gave me a good golden opportunity to uh, get it out, get out of there. That should pot. Got a slow motion, so I don't think the white ball is going to drop, which is good news. Um, I've changed my um, I've changed my sensitivity down uh, to the bottom it can possibly be. Um, I do advise that. Uh, well, if you're as heavy-handed as me, if you look, we are going to go into the yellows there, but I don't think we're going to go into the yellows in a way that will pop them. Um, just as long as we don't end up doing anything um, and snookering ourselves, we should be fuck. Okay, that was that was always on the cards. So that was always on the cards of something that could happen. Uh, let's have a look where that is going to hit. Mm, nowhere near where I need it to hit. So. Um, again, nowhere near. That could work out nicely. There we go. It worked out quite nicely. I managed to get out the snooker that I put myself in, not the computer putting me in it. So there we go. So uh, will we get another shot? Is the question? Yes, we will because he's Mr. Sitter. Um, but he has put my reds awkwardly close to these guys. But that should be absolutely fine. I should just kiss into that and keep out of any real danger. A little bit unlucky with... So yeah, the AI is a little bit easy to beat by the looks of this. Um, we could ramp the AI up to like the full difficulty. I actually wouldn't feel too in danger to do that after I've just seven balled somebody. Um, just double check how hard he was supposed to be. He's level 30 and that's the easiest AI that's hard. So it, as I say, it goes up to 42, there's only 12 people harder than him. Now we go, let's have a look at another, uh, a, um, so we've seen the versions that you've got just here. You've seen all your versions you've got just here, like your killer, your sneaky. Your... Let's look at endurance. Endurance, this is a really fun one. I really enjoyed doing this. I've got it on medium. Um, my, my longest streak is A. It's a really, really fun idea. Um, now let's just take a look at it, shall we? Press X to start. We'll skip that. It, it puts balls in um, every few seconds. Um, you can only burn balls at a certain time. Oh, and and if you don't have a great sensitivity, this is never going to be really great for you because it, not very good with sensitivity because it's not going to be great for you because um, you need to get to where you're taking the shot quite early. You can like do what I did just then and like just press it in so that this is going really badly. If I'm potting, I'm following it through. Oh no, I didn't follow it through that time. That's good. Uh, nice and quick. This, this, does in, this does encourage you to be faster. I've got to give it that. It does encourage you to play faster. It's a it's a lovely fast style of play. See, in a normal game, I would have checked that one, and maybe maybe it would have gone in, but I just didn't put the pace on it. Because obviously, if you put pace on the shot, you then have to wait for it, the balls to stop, uh, including the white ball. So ah, oh, these pockets just aren't accepting me at the moment. Um. 
I want to put my other one out because my others I had a much better run than this. That middle pocket wasn't wide enough. Right, but let, let's get, let's stop talking and concentrate. As the table fills up that little bit more, it becomes harder and harder. The harder, this is the mode that you get where you can burn balls. But look, I'm spending so much time spinning around right now. I will hardly have a shot, but actually burn a ball. At least I burnt one. That's something. Um, ah, oh, the. There is something to be said about those middle pockets. They really don't like me today. I do find myself using the normal, just the pressing up uh, in this mode quite a lot, J just for the uh, just for the whole reason that it is like much quicker that that than pressing down then up because if you look at this you, you get that um, I probably put it about the same thing as well so that was a pretty much a waste of a time but there we go so if we spin this round if you could be spinning it round so you're up to your next shot early it is a bonus that is definitely the case I mean I don't think that's going in if it does, oh, that is a great shot. Um, that shot's kind of screwed me over quite badly. Um, I followed that shot by that shot. Um, I don't think that streak's going to continue. Didn't think so. As I say, my biggest streak is eight. Is either eight or seven or eight. As I say, just lining that shot up before why the ball's still rolling, it really does give you a good help. But if you get caught like completely the wrong side, it's no help whatsoever. And I'm just going to burn the white ball. No, I'm not going to burn the white ball. That stayed out. Good, good, good. Um, we've been going 4 minutes 30 on this challenge. Um... I don't think there's a pot available here. There might be. That might go. It did go. Has that not dropped? That is gutting. Uh, 17 out of 24 balls on the table. As soon as 24 balls co come onto the table, uh, it is over. So you've got until 24 balls hit the table before it is over. Um, so it's all about your speed of clearing the balls up. Oh, you're joking me. I want to put that ball on top of that ball. Oh, even better. said no one when that shot went in. Um, left myself a difficult shot here. Um, went with my gut, missed it. But that should now be very potable. Probably a bonus really because it was all on fire when it happened. Oh, that, that was awful. I rushed that far too much. Uh, it reminds me of... Um, this mode reminds me of... Uh, big Break. I'm 
19 out of 24 balls on the on the table now so getting even more congested oh that didn't drop about there should be good because now you're trying to fight through all the other balls as well uh, to be fair, you're unlucky if all your shots are blocked, but it does take a little bit more like looking for your shot now, and oh, that was awful. Um, and then you start to panic, and you start to try and play faster and faster, which really doesn't help your gameplay. that a drop that would have been a great shot 24 out of 24 balls uh, lasted 748 that's my best time as well 7200 though um not bad i'm happy with that i am quite happy with that so that is the game in a nutshell um the Bits of times that I've played it, it's been absolutely an amazing game to play. It's really, really pretty, it, and the music behind it is really, really good. I've really enjoyed this. Um, the rules itself, you can change like the rules so the winner breaks uh, all the time or not, depending on your your favourite preference. You've already got the American and the UK rules in there. Um, yeah, they've, they've made a really good game here. You've also got your online play for cash your friends, your leagues and your pool hall as well. Um, you've got like your leaderboards just here of how well you're doing, gone 2 7 7th in the world, and you get your things by uh, doing your career. Doing the career you earn some money, uh, the money you can spend on getting some consumables. So, pretty good, really. So, pretty good. Uh, there's a skill center, so you can practice your skills, and it teaches you all the, all the little bits and pieces with your skills. Um, on top of that, there is... On top of that, there is, like, a host of online abilities. It's such a good game, and they haven't done loot boxes, so I can praise them even more. I know I got this game for free. I would have... Um, now I've played it, uh, I would happily advise anybody that for the £13.29p that it is currently in the PlayStation Store, and if you enjoy pool, this is a must-buy. It's a really good game. Even for £18.99, this would be a very good game to play with your mates. But... That's my opinion, um, even if I hadn't have had it free. I think I came to the exact same opinion. Uh, I'll definitely be telling my mates to get this, um, because it is just so, so good. I hope you all have a fantastic day today. I hope you really enjoy your days, and I'll catch you all at some point very, very soon.